So you've discovered a hot or stuck pixel on your Canon camera, and that is what's just happened to me. And today I'm gonna to take you through the steps that I went through to rectify the problem. And there's a series of things we need to do, first to identify the problem and how bad it is. Then we go through the steps that potentially we can resolve the problem on our own. And then the final step, if that doesn't work, it means contacting Canon support, and hopefully if your product's under warranty, get it processed under warranty, or determining what the cost to repair the camera would be. But stick with me, we're gonna go through the whole process now, and you're gonna get to live through it with me before you have to go through the same process. And I originally discovered this problem while editing a video about low light performance on my Canon camera. And what I discovered is that the higher ISO settings, I had a glowing red dot. And not only did I notice it when I was editing, also some of my viewers noticed it when they were watching the video. Beyond that, I went back in time and found when the stuck pixel came in. And what actually happened is I was staying at hotel quarantine in Sydney after returning from overseas to Australia. And they were making everybody that came from overseas stay in a hotel for 14 days to make sure you didn't have the coronavirus and that you weren't contagious and we're gonna pass it on to other people within Australia. And in that time, I had very little to do with my time, but I had a beautiful view of the city. So I was constantly taking time-lapse footage of the city, mainly day to night, but also the night lights. And I was really enjoying getting stuck into the time-lapse. And uh, basically I was using the time to, to learn how to shoot and edit time-lapse video. What I didn't know at the time is this is a perfect way to get a stuck pixel in your camera. And there, there are basically two main things that can cause you to get a stuck pixel in your camera. And both of them relate to making the sensor or the sensor getting too hot. And so long exposure photo is one, and time-lapse photo, continually taking photos is the other, or are actually long video, taking a long video, particularly something that is really intensive on the sensor, will cause the sensor to heat up, and this is when you can end up getting a stuck pixel. And what I found from looking at my old footage uh, prior to being in Sydney and shooting the time lapses, I did not have the stuck pixel. And then towards the end of my time there in Sydney in this 14 days in the hotel room, after shooting a number of long time lapse photos to consolidate into video, there was a stuck pixel. And so to identify how bad the problem is, and since I had noticed it first in video, I shot here a series of videos at different ISOs so we can identify where the problem pixel is and how bad the problem is. How bad is the stuck pixel? How hot is it? And at what ISO does it come in and be a problem? So right now we're just shooting at 100 ISO and I suspect that we won't see the problem at 100 ISO. All right, now we've moved up to 200 ISO, and yesterday the footage that it was really obvious in was shot at 6400 and 12,800, but it even was moderately noticeable in the footage that I shot at ISO 800. So, yeah, this is ISO 200. Now we're on ISO 400, and I know that I could see it only just at 800, so I'll be interested to see if it creeps in at 400. Now we're at ISO 800, which is definitely where I noticed it yesterday. It wasn't really standing out significantly, and I only noticed it in this shot at ISO 800 after I found it at 6400 and 12800 and then came back and looked at the 800 shot. Now we're at 1600 and all I'm doing is just closing the aperture down with each scene to just uh, reduce the light that's coming in so that we get the higher uh, sensitivity uh, in the sensor that we need. And so yeah, ISO 1600. Now we're at 32,800 approaching that 6400 where it was quite obvious in the shots the other day. ISO 6400 and I'm sure we will be seeing it now because it was extremely obvious in the 6400 shots. That's where we first noticed it. And now we're at 12,800 which is the highest you can go in video. And if it looks as I expect, we should see a small dot. I'm pretty sure it was on my left. All right, so after having a look and going through that video, what I've identified, and you might not have been able to see it uh, because of the compression of YouTube, but in the unedited or uncompressed footage, 
The first sign of the glowing red dot came in at about ISO 400. It got stronger at 800, again at, at 1600, and certainly by 64,000, 12,800, it was just glowing, glowing red and essentially just ruined the image. And if you were just using it for photography, potentially you could go and just use the heel tool or you could block it out. But when using it for a video, it's, it's a bit more complicated than that. And really this camera that I'm using is only, I think about 15 months old. So even though I did use it in the way that I did, which is known to potentially bring on stuck pixels, I think I have a reasonable expectation that this won't be a problem. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the steps that they suggest to fix a stuck pixel. And from the reports online, a number of people have had reasonable success in doing this. So I'm gonna take you through those steps now and we're just gonna see if it fixes my problem. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our camera and it doesn't matter if it's a little mirrorless uh, M50 or if it's an M6 Mark II or it's a 90D or if it's a 6D, essentially the process is the same. And what we wanna do is we wanna take the lens off and we want to put the body cap on. So take the lens off and put the body cap on. The next thing we do is we're going to turn on the camera and then we're gonna navigate our way over to the wrench menu. And we're going to find something that says sensor cleaning or manual sensor cleaning. And it's described a few different ways depending on what generation camera you have. But that's what we want to access is the manual cleaning of the sensor. Now, there's a, it goes back and forth about this next one, but I figured why not? It's pretty simple. But some people suggest that when you do this, you point your camera at the ground. So you have it facing down as if you were going to take a photograph of your feet. Now, obviously, you've just got the body cap on. You don't have a lens on, so you're not taking a photograph of anything. And I just wonder if they think because of the gravity and the way, I'm not exactly sure, but compared to holding it this way or that way, I figure I, I might as well try it the way that has been suggested. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna point it at the ground. We are going to select the manual cleaning. And once we select that, we let it go through its manual cleaning process. And then we're going to put the lens back on and we're going to see if the dot is still glowing. Now. In my situation, I actually shot all this footage and had it for you, and what I found after the first sensor cleaning was that I did still have a glowing dot, but not as much as I did before, strangely. I thought it would either work or wouldn't, but in my case, it was still there, but just not quite as bright. Now, unfortunately, in the meantime, I have lost that footage, so I'm just gonna talk you through what I did. So I figured if the first one worked a little bit, then maybe I do it a few times, it would work more. So I think I did it five or six more times. I don't think I did it as many as 10 times. And I did find that the heat of the glow or how bright it seemed to be did kind of come down a little bit, but it never actually went away, which put me in a situation where the real only real solution I had from there was to call Canon support. Now, I also videotaped this of me talking to Canon support, and I lost that footage as well, but I do have the audio from the microphone I was using. So I'm going to play you some of that audio now so you can see what you're going to experience when you call Canon support, what sort of service you can expect to get, and then I will come back and talk to you about where we went from there. I'm having a problem. The sensor has developed a hot or stuck pixel. So there's one dot in all my photos and all my video, which just stays red the whole time. I see, okay. So your concern is um, the sensor of your camera or one of the pixels uh, is only red. That's right, red. All, all the time, yep. And the, what, um, can I verify what do you think uh, would be the issue for that? Well, it's a pretty normal thing that can happen to cameras. It's called a stuck or hot pixel, whereby one of the pixels stops working properly and just shows red, blue, or green the whole time. So every photo or every video you take has a 
one spot in it that's just like the wrong color. I see. Okay. Have you tried to? Yeah. Can you please kind of uh, have you tried to do some troubleshoot? Yeah, I've gone through all that. I've gone through everything online. I've gone through the sensor cleaning process. I've read through the manual. Um, yeah, I've got years of experience with cameras and working with cameras, and I've done as much as I can do on this side without either a technician talking to me or a technician taking the camera and having a look at it. I see. So you're also like able to talk or consult to a technician, and they told you that no longer working. No, 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 no. I have I mean, not, I have, working properly. no, I have not talked to a technician. What I've said is I've done all the troubleshooting I can do according to the manual and the information that is online from Canon, and that has not resolved the issue. So now I either need to speak with a technician at Canon or send the camera back into Canon to be looked at. Okay. So regarding that matter, I'll be just sending, uh, I'll be Checking first, okay? One moment, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay? Okay, as I can check here, so since your camera needs to be repaired, so what I'm going to do, I'll be sending you the sheeting details regarding uh, the process, okay? So just follow the instruction and the email that I'll be sending you for you to ship the camera to our camera workshop. So after all that, uh, I got the information about the return and how to go about it sent by email. Uh, I took that, I filled out a form which I submitted online. I also filled out that same form and put it in the box. So I've got a sort of a double copy or they've got it either way. And I sent it off really well packed, kind of hope for the best, but just had this funny feeling in my gut that I was just going to end up with the thing back with not fixed and I had here heard a few nightmare stories online so my expectations were somewhat low but I was hopeful anyway I also got an email from the second support person I talked to who told me quite clearly that stuck pixels were covered as long as the camera was still under warranty which it was and as long as the camera was in reasonably good condition so it wasn't obvious that I did something or abuse the camera in some way to damage the pixel. So I sent it off to Canon and I think it took roughly about 15 days before it came back to me. It came back in a good sized box, very well packed, and inside all I got was this silly little printed out form which said something about there being bright pixels and high ISO conditions and my immediate thought was, uh, you've got to be kidding. They didn't figure out what the stuck pixel was and they think that I was just talking about normal high ISO noise. There was also nothing in the box to say what they had done to resolve the problem. So anyways, I figured, all right, I will run the camera through the tests again, but my expectations were pretty low and I thought they'd probably just sent me back the camera exactly the way it was 15 days later and did nothing to it. So I put it on the tripod and tested it out and what you're seeing now is the footage from that camera. And I am at ISO 800 right now and as you will see, there should be no glowing dot up there. So I wondered if they just uh, mapped the sensor, which is something I've heard they do, where they actually somehow tell the camera, we've got a stuck pixel here, just ignore it and make it black, or ignore it and use the information from the pixels around it to, to cover up for it. And so my expectation is that's potentially what they've done. So with having no information about the box with it actually done, I sent an email off to the support person who sent me the original email and I said, I've got the camera back. Uh, I just wondered if you can confirm what exactly has been done just for my own records. And I think it took about 24 hours for him to come back to me and basically said uh, they got it, they uh, assessed it as a warranty claim, it was clear that there was a stuck pixel, they ordered in a new sensor, that's why it took as long as it did, and once the new sensor came in, they installed a new sensor in the camera, and the camera now has a brand new sensor in it. In the end, the problem was resolved, the camera was still under warranty, it didn't cost me anything except for the shipping charge back to them, and um, that's it. I've got my camera with a new sensor in it. I'm super happy with the level of customer service I've gotten from Canon. So this was a great resolution for me. I'm very happy. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.